Hey guys, it's Marissa and I'm here with my first ever makeup tutorial. So here I am applying my Laura Geller Illuminating Stick. I'm applying it at the high points of my cheeks, my cupid's bow, and my nose. And make sure you blend it out with your finger, makeup brush, beauty sponge, whatever you have. Next, I'm going in with my Gerard Cosmetics Brow Bar to Go, and I'm just making hair like strokes and filling in the sparse areas. Next, I'm grabbing my eyebrow spoolie and I'm just blending out what I've done on my eyebrows. Now taking my matte concealer on a small flat brush, just carving out my eyebrows. I'm also pulling the concealer down on my eyelid just so we can have a nice blank canvas for our eyeshadows. Okay, so I placed two pieces of scotch tape on the back of my hand. I'm going to place it right there next to my eye to create a cat eye look and it's also going to help as a guide for our eyeliner. Yes, now we're going in with my favorite palette is the Huda Beauty Desert Dust Palette and we're going in with the shade Desert Sand and we're placing that all over the eyelid. Now we're going in with the shade Blazing and we're placing that in our crease, just back and forth motions, wind wiper motions. Just blend away, girl. The next shade we're going in with is Amber. Just to darken the crease up just a bit more. Just to add a little bit more definition. Now we're going in with the Sigma E40 brush. And guys, this is the best brush for blending. We're going to go ahead and just blend out those harsh lines. And yes. Next brush we're using is the Makeup Geek the Fine Crease Brush, and we're just gonna put that in odd, O U D. I'm not sure how to pronounce that. And back with the Sigma E40 just to blend out those harsh edges. Yes, girl, blend away, blend, blend, blend. Now we're grabbing the NYX Jumbo Pin in Milk, and I'm grabbing that flat brush we grabbed earlier for the concealer, and I'm just dabbing it ever so lightly right there on my eyelid. Don't want to go too high with this because it will get in your crease if you do have hooded eyes like myself. So yes, just be very careful when you're doing this. Now the star of the show, the shade Neferidi. I'm so sorry if I'm pronouncing these names wrong, guys, but we're going to go ahead and place that on top of the NYX Milk Crown Pencil and just dab away. Don't worry if it gets on your face. That's why I prefer to do my eyes first. We'll just wipe it off later. Next, we're grabbing Desert Sand again, and we're just going to place that right there underneath the eyebrow so we can give it a subtle highlight. Now let's go ahead and tear back that tape and yes, nice crisp lines. That's what we want for our eyeliner. Taking the Holy Grail NYC eyeliner and as you can see, I am just tracing the line we made with the tape. Alright guys, so my wing wasn't as sharp as I had liked it to be so I'm just taking a Q-tip and 
straightening it out a bit, cleaning it up, and also another trick is to get a little bit of concealer if you want a little bit too high on your lid and just pop that on there and boom. Yeah, look how sharp that is. Cut somebody with that. Mm-hmm. As you can see, I was spilling myself with that sharp wing. Next, we're going in with eyelashes and these are the House of Lashes. Uh, I don't even know the name, but when I find out, I will post them in the description. Y'all, please excuse me for making these crazy faces. Mm -hmm. All right, now I am taking a makeup wipe and I'm just removing all of that excess eyeshadow that fell on the face before when we were doing our eyeshadows. Now I am taking my moisturizer. It's my all-time favorite, the CeraVe. Rubbing it all in my face. Next, I'm taking the Draw Cosmetics BB Elimination Cream. Just one pump would do because trust me, this goes a long way. Taking my Sigma Flat Kabuki Brush and I am just dabbing it along my face, spreading out the Elimination Cream. Yes, look at that glow. Now I'm taking my EX1 foundation and my True Match Lumi foundation. I'm just making a little cocktail on the back of my hand. With the back of my Kabuki brush, I am just mixing it in and I'm just going to dab it all over my face. Now I'm grabbing my beauty blender and I'm just pouncing that all over my face so I can blend out my foundation. Now grabbing my LA Girl Pro Concealer and I am concealing my under eye as well as my chin and my forehead. I'm grabbing my Ben Nye Banana Powder and I am just placing that under my eye. I'm not baking, I'm just lightly just patting it over. Next, I'm taking my Hard Candy Bronzer and I am just bronzing my face, just warming it up a bit. Now I'm taking Laura Geller Gilded Honey with my Morphe M. 5 brush and I'm just placing that on the high points of my cheeks, once again on my nose and my cupid's bow. Now grabbing my favorite lip duo which is the NYX lip liner pencil in brown and the Anastasia liquid lipstick in Ashton. Trying out this new setting spray, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter, and yes guys, this is a yes for me. I am definitely going to be buying the full size, and here is the finished look.